If cavemen didn't brush their teeth, then why should we? Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about how we survived 10,000 plus years ago without brushing our teeth. And before we get started, make sure to get my free oral care guide. Click the link in the description below or in the pinned comment. This way you can join thousands of people who have already discovered all of the essential components for an effective oral hygiene routine. This guide is an action plan for preventing and maintaining a happier and healthier smile. I made it just for you for it can help you save on costly dental visits by maintaining your teeth at home. Now for today, Today's video, let's talk about the history of brushing teeth. Now, the comment I get actually quite often on lots of my brushing teeth tutorials or flossing teeth demonstration type videos, people say things like, if cavemen didn't brush their teeth, then why should we? My grandparents never went to the dentist, so why should I? There's always an argument to why we need to brush or why we need to go to the dentist. It's wild to see that adults are still debating whether brushing their teeth is actually needed. So let's talk about it. To our knowledge, some of our earliest ancestors, the hunters, gatherers, did not brush their teeth. However, they did not keep their teeth for long either. So there's that. And remains of early humans show that the teeth they didn't lose actually had tooth decay and bone loss typically associated with gum disease. Their teeth might have been in pain while they were still alive. But they were just probably busy with other things, you know, like surviving. So just because cavemen did not brush their teeth, it doesn't take away from the importance of keeping up with your oral hygiene today in the 21st century. Because as with anything, we learn over time how to better ourselves and improve our lives. They were literally surviving back then. Our goal now is more than just to survive nowadays, right? We are also civilized and we're trying to thrive a little bit. Also, think about human lifespan. Humans are living longer than ever before thanks to modern medicine and advancements in healthcare. And because the human lifespan is much longer than our earlier relatives, we have to take care of our teeth for an extended period of time comparatively speaking. According to research, cavemen were only living up to age 30. Today, the average life expectancy is more around 80. That means we need to make our teeth last longer. Also, if you want to think about our grandparents and our great grandparents, maybe only about 100 years ago, right? In our own parents' lifetime, people were not focusing on dental health like we do now. I mean, think about how many of our grandparents have dentures because they lost all their teeth, because they didn't take care of their teeth, because they didn't know the importance of it. And that's only about 100 years ago. Imagine how bad our relatives' teeth were thousands and millions of years ago, depending on how far back we're going. Something else to consider is genetics and lifestyle changes. Modern humans tend to have smaller jaws. Think about how almost everyone you know gets their wisdom teeth out now because wisdom teeth literally don't fit in our mouths anymore. We have evolved. We live indoors. We cook our food. We consume processed, softer diets. That means we tend to have more plaque buildup than if we were eating the same diets as hunters and gatherers hundreds of thousands of years ago. In addition, diet is one of the largest contributors to poor oral health today. Modern diets have excessively large amounts of added sugar and processed carbohydrates that earlier civilizations didn't have. Instead, they were consuming animal foods, fruits, vegetables, and nuts for the majority of their diet. This natural approach doesn't lead to as heavy amounts of tooth decay and gum disease as today's diets do. And before you say in the comments, well, I only eat healthy foods, so I never need to brush my teeth because I've seen those comments in my comment sections before as well. Although ancient humans may have eaten more whole foods in their natural forms, that doesn't mean they were immune to cavities and gum disease. Ancient historians have found Egyptian remains, for example, with high decay rates, meaning they had cavities on their teeth. And there is actually evidence, like with the ancient Egyptians, again, for example, that shows they did actually create their own toothbrushes, probably because they saw how removing the debris physically removing the debris from their teeth helped prevent decay and prevent tooth pain. Lots of early civilizations did use something to try and clean their teeth. So just throwing that out there too, I know this is more recent than the hunter-gatherers if we're talking about ancient Egypt, but it's still thousands of years ago. So it's worth mentioning. And I have a whole article that goes over the evolution of the toothbrush if you want to learn more about that. But yes, humans started figuring out that it was important to clean their teeth thousands of years ago. It wasn't just recently that we decided 
excited to tell people to brush their teeth, you know? Also, I know I'm skipping around a lot in history, talking about ancient Egypts versus cavemen's hunter gatherers. But the point of this video is that we humans are now different than we were back then. Even compared to our own grandparents, less than 100 years ago, we are different. So don't blame not brushing your teeth. The cavemen didn't do it, so why should I? The cavemen also didn't use toilets, you know? And they didn't sleep on a mattress with memory foam or wear shoes with arch support. We have evolved. We brush our teeth now. We have an air conditioner. It's such a different world. If you want to learn even more about the history of the first toothbrush and all that fun stuff, I will link that article of mine in the description below. But for the purpose of this video again, there we have it. Thanks to the invention and innovations of the toothbrush, humans have evolved to care for their mouths in a way that promotes overall well-being and a healthier smile that lasts decades longer. And speaking of a healthy smile that lasts for decades longer, if you're interested in creating the perfect oral care routine to prevent major dental issues and costly dental visits, make sure to click the link in the description or in the pinned comment below to sign up for my free oral care guide. This guide is an action plan for preventing and maintaining a happier and healthier smile. And I hope this video helped you. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications if it did. And if you want even more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com and or hang out with me on Instagram at teethtalkgirl. Peace, love, and teeth.